DHG has been studied as a potential therapy for low libido disorder in men and women. For low libido disorder in women, we don't have much options in our hand. Like for men, you have testosterone. So for women, you have filibenserin, which is yet to come in the market. And second is DHEA. DHEA is very well studied for the libido disorder in women. And how many times we really ask about the libido disorders in women? We should ask that. And if there's a libido problem, again, first is you have to find about all that what we spoke about in men, relative things, family, family, surroundings, environment, cultural restrictions, religious restriction. Then there are children at home, lot of then the stressor of the next day morning getting up to get up at five in the morning next day and to prepare for the school. That is also an anticipated stressor, na? So stress response will be the same in that. So um, if all this you can manage, perfectly fine. And if the libido comes up, absolutely okay. Otherwise, for libido disorder, if you some pharmacological intervention has to be done, DHA is a good option in a woman. Huh? The overall well-being, the score of for <coughs> depression and anxiety, and the frequency of sexual thoughts, the libido sexual interest and satisfaction with both mental and physical aspects of sexuality. So in the era when we don't have much to discuss and offer to a woman in terms of the sexuality aspect, DHEA becomes a something like a savior for the doctor as well as for the patient in terms of libido, sexual thought and sexual 